Today I'll show you how to add Amazon-like magnifying zoom for your images in WordPress. The easiest way to do this is by adding a plugin. So we'll head over to our WordPress dashboard. Let's go to plugins, add new. And we're searching for a plugin called WP Image Zoom. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it and then stick around to activate the plugin as well. Now you can either go to settings here or now we have this area on the left. If you ever need to come back, you can go to WP Image Zoom to set everything up. The first thing you want to choose is what kind of lens shape do you want? You can have a zoom window, which allows for this. And then you have some other areas if you would prefer. You just want to pick whichever one you like the best or something like a product. Maybe this is the best one. So we'll just keep this one. Scrolling down even more, you can even choose what kind of pointer you have. Once you figure out the pointer that you want, you can also go to lens and under lens. If you have the pro version or higher, then you can make some adjustments here. And then also on the zoom window, this is where you choose how big of a window you want this to be here. You can make those adjustments as well. Once you've made all of your adjustments, you can scroll all the way down and don't forget to save changes. Next, we want to go to our general settings so we can make adjustments here as well. And you see there are several options that you can choose from. You can make it for WooCommerce products, um, mobile devices if you'd like. Once we're done with all that, we can go ahead and click Save Changes. And by default, it'll automatically happen for say WooCommerce, but there's a way that you can also enable this for something in your block editor. So let's go to a post that we want to enable this on and then click on the image that you want to adjust. And then you want to go to styles and then you'll see with zoom. So we want to add the zoom style with that. And as you see, here's an information part that the zoom is applied to the image, but you'll see it on the front end only. So let's go ahead and update this post and then we'll see it in action. And if you want to learn how to remove the background from your image, watch this video next as we walk you through step-by-step -step on how to remove background from your images for free. And I'll see you over there.